Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Milton Tutorials and Toolpath. In our Milton series, this is an another win video of our last one's exercise. So part one, we already cover where we define you that the machine simulation, that how the machine simulation is going to be run. After that, I show you that how we can do the workpiece setup that we also cover in last video. And in this video, we will cover about the, all the toolpaths for the turning toolpaths that how we can create on the Mastercam Milton module. So this toolpath we will learn about that what is the process and what the steps that we have to follow to create this one toolpath or create this one workpiece. So if you are new on this channel, first go and learn the basic thing of Mastercam, the basic thing of like as a lathe, like as a milling. If you are good in this one, so you can learn easily a Milton module and our main purpose is sharing the knowledge so you can learn something new and grow in your career in a better way so i hope you guys like our video and if you like our video please go and comment that what you like in this video and please suggest that what the things that we can do in a better in our video because your suggestions are most valuable for us so we can share our knowledge with the entire world and grow Together we can grow in a very good way in the area of manufacturing, in the area of CAM programming. So now in this video we will start to that how what is the process and step that we have to follow to create this one toolpath. So first thing that we already done the job setup that is already done. If you want to make some modification and check you have to go and click on the toolpath manager job setup and you can check and modify if you needed some modifications. So now all these things are set. Now we have to start to create the toolpath for this one machine. So first toolpath as we done in returning, the same process is going to be same. The first thing is we have to choose the face. We have to came on the face and in the face there are when you choose the face. So that time there are two kinds of tools available. The first thing is with the this color insert yellow and the second one is uh, this kind of insert that is we can call a mehendi color or something like that so the first is yellow and second one is another so you can choose your tool as per your profile direction and all these things according to that we can choose so that's the facing tool that I am choosing this one tool and I can define the face and I can add the reference position as you always added the, so this is the reference position and after adding the reference position the, all these things are same like as we previously do the lathe so if you are new and have a late knowledge so think you will get idea okay I am expert in Milton nothing to do new but there are some things are going to be changed that that is job setup that is the most important thing that you always have to choose the job setup that you have to learn in a Milton the second thing that is the access combination that is the new for this one machine there are the four set uh, for the Milton there are four options are available in the access combination but this machine have a only lathe left side spindle and only have a single turret so that time and that turret is in upper side so that's why that is at, at here that is visible the left side spindle and the turret is upper if you have the, all the four turrets so that in that condition we have to choose all these things in a proper way to getting or create a perfect toolpath as per the required but for this one uh, our purpose is to introduce you with the Milton and do a first very basic exercise with the help of Milton. So that's the reason we are creating this video. So that's the first facing operation is done. After that we have to go and roughing. We have to click on roughing right at here. Here to here. Just say okay. If you want to make the same tool as a previous or if you want to change the tool, we can change the tool. If you want to add a reference point, look at this. We added the reference point. And after that, the roughing para uh, we, we can choose the roughing parameter. What is the depth of cut? What is the stock in X? What is the stock in Z? And we can choose your stock from outer boundary and just say OK. So as you can see, this toolpath is getting to be done successfully. That's the perfect thing. Once my roughing toolpath is successfully done, after that, I can choose create the finishing toolpath. And once I click on the finishing, I can choose the previous tool or a previous line as we done 
once I select this one I can choose the new tool for the finishing purpose I can edit the reference position for this all these things all the parameters are the same as the previous that we learned till the now if you are new on the Milton don't watch the directly Milton videos go and first learn the basic of things the lathe and after that came to the Milton all these things should be same as the previous so that's the lathe tool path is also created so this is the tool I selected the reference point I selected I don't know if there is some issue showing right at here so again I choose the finish chain right at from here to here yeah, I just select the tool this is the tool I don't define the reference point and just say okay so look at this tool path is created once my tool path is going to be created I can define the reference point right at here from this to this and just say okay so now my roughing is also finishing tool path is also successfully created after that I can choose a grooving tool path for choosing a grooving tool path I can say the multiple chains for this one tool model right at direction should be this to this once I choose this one chain okay from this to this and just say okay so I can now actually write it here I can define the workpiece and all these things a tool and all these things so this is my tool reference position grow save parameter grow roughing parameter grow finishing parameter and overlap distance is 1 and just say ok error finding interactions ok let me check the tool path I just have to choose the tool path let we have to create a one by one chain let's see so this chain is successfully created just copy paste geometry rechain from here to here just say ok and now the next tool path I just created so there is some issue is created right at here and the maybe reason behind that that okay the passes that we have to check what is the issue right at here maybe the tool size that I am choosing that is large for this one so let me try with the smaller size of tool and now that is successfully created so in the previous tool path the reason is that is area is limited the 4 mm area that is the issue for this one tool path so as you can see here the tool path I successfully created the face after that the rough after that I the finish after that the groove and after that the last one groove. so if you want to create these kind of tool path all these tool paths is now successfully set if you want to show the machine simulation for the general in general the machine simulation we are choosing the verify but when we have a Milton module so that time you have to select click on a G1 once you click on a G1 so that time all these things are happening and after that we have to make some synchronization right at here but there is no synchronization required for this one time because we have a single spindle and single turret when we have multiple spindle and multiple turret so that time we have to choose the axis synchronization and after that we have to click on a launch once I click on a launch so the, in that condition my tool path is now visible to me where I will see all these things like as a machine like as my workpiece like as my tool all these things are visibly properly and now I can run these things and check that how it is going to be work and how it is going to be machine so all these things that we cover on today's or if is in this session of our master and Milton module where we learn all about that what is a Milton what are the different concept what are the different thing and that we learn in a detail 
so the first was facing after that the roughing after that the finishing once the finishing is successfully done after that i go for the grooving and once after once of my grooving i just go with the final small size tool for the grooving so all these things are successfully set up properly so i hope you guys get idea and get some understanding about that how my milton is processes work there are few things are very important in milton the first thing is workpiece setup the second thing is creating the tool path there are some new options are available and after that the simulation and access synchronization and after that the nc output so there are the total four steps that we have to follow in a proper way follow in a step by step so we can create the tool path easily so that's all about the mastercam milton module if you have any question or doubt feel free to ask on your comment section we are always here to help you keep learning keep growing